All right, Shalom. I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I'd like to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. All right, I'm the Brother Ties of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. Back at you again. Um, you know, as always, you know, my prayers and hopes to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that he allowed me to edify those of the hopeful elect. You know, this is going to be basically an open form, impromptu. You know, I don't have a lesson. You know, so with all that being said, he that got ears to hear, let him hear. All right. Uh, you know, based on, you know, the last lesson I did, it was, uh, you know, Esau and his technology, you know, his, his device where he can manipulate, you know, your voice pattern. He can change your face. You know, to look to put it on another's person, you know, it's it's crazy, man. And that's not nothing compared to what he's holding in secret. All right. And every year, you know, he, he gives the public a certain portion of their tech, their new technology in which they mastered years ago. You know, you know, I believe they had the green screen back in the 70s, man. You know, back in the, uh, you know, when they when they uh, actually uh, fake like they went to the moon. You know, back in the black and white TVs, you know, back in that day, you know, this, this, this Edomite, you know, he got some badass technology, but it was given to him by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. Now, the power that he has, that he's possessing is, is demon power, man, on the left side. All right. Because the most high is a balance, man. And I see and I understand, you know, why the Lord, you know, do his thing because he told us. You know, he said he's a, he's a just balance. He's a just weight. You know, he controls the left, the right. All right. And right now it's the left that's that's on top, you know, wickedness. And anyone that's, you know, uh, anyone that's perfect in wickedness, that'll be Esau, man. All right. He's the son of perdition. All right. He's the son of the wicked. OK, he's the master of disaster. All right. And this technology, you know, is out of this world, man. But it's reasons why, you know, the Lord pumped you up, Esau. You know, it's not for, you know, an extension on your kingdom or that you was going to still supplant Jacob this, this time and take the birthright and you implant everyone with microchips. And, you know, we all got the mark of the beast. You know, you guessing, you know, I'm guessing that you think that Yahweh Shai ain't going to return and. You know, all of this other stuff. You know, no, the most high pumping you up, man. It's like, uh, you know, how them Edomites, they go in the gym, you know, and they get pumped up with, with iron and they get all swole. Well, that's that. That's the technology in which Esau possessed, man. He's at that all time high. The scriptures talk about how, you know, he shall reach up with his excellency. I like to give double you know, to the apostles he shall lift his head. He shall lift his head up, you know, uh, and his excellency, man. And uh, let me see here if I get a quick precept. I believe that was in Job. Uh, let's see. This is Job. Is it 20? It says um, Job 20 and 5. That the triumphing of the wicked is short. And the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment. All right, because remember, in Revelation, the scriptures tell us that Esau has but a short rule, and we can't forget that. This is a short rule for you, all right? So it says that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment. Though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reach into the clouds, all right, because he got eyes out there and in the heavens as well. He's seeing the chariots. He's seeing the angels flying. All right. He has his satellites. It's the reason why I'm able to do this show and load it up on the highways or the internet of things. All right. And all of this is the Lord's, but he gave it as a portion to Esau. You know, this is like the, the, the uh, what's that? Uh, what they say? The, the, the therm, uh, I can't think of it. Um, Norm, therm, I can't think of the word, but, um, you know, this is like a crystal ball. All right, that that I'm actually doing a video on, you know, you know I'm a, I'm doing this video now. It's not live, but I'm gonna premiere it as live, and then 
you know, you're going to be able to see this video. That's power, man. All right. Being able to reflect these images, my voices, my voice over the video for you to see exactly recording what I'm doing is right now. You know, you, you get you receiving the message of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's power. All right. It says that the triumph, the triumph thing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite. But for a moment, though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reach unto the clouds. Yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. OK, they which have seen him shall say, where is he? All right, because sooner or later, you're going to be vanished. You're going to be going away, man. You're going to be out of there, man. No one is going to remember you with, with this power. All right. You know, no one is going to remember you with this power, man. Nobody remembers the wickedness when righteousness is reigning. You know, just like the wickedness, they don't they don't understand righteousness, nor can they see it because they're wicked. All right. Let me pull over here. And I'm a, uh, I'm gonna kind of cut this video short, but let's get into it real quick. All right, you know some some of the most powerful books, and the scriptures is the smaller books. You know, it gets straight to the point. So this is Job chapter twenty, and seven. Yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, Where is he? He shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. Yea, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. The eye also which saw him shall see him no more. Neither shall his place any more behold him. So this place in which you call America will not behold you. You will not have an extension on your kingdom. We will all not live in this utopia. And all of us cyborgs and, and transhumans. All right. All of us microchipped. You know, AI intelligence taking over robots. All that stuff is madness. It's rubbish. <laughs> it's rubbish. All right. That's madness, man. All right. All that is that's just talk, man. That's not that's not gonna happen. Not according to Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. It says, Thou I also which saw him shall see him no more. Neither shall his place any more behold him. His children shall seek to please the poor. So your children, all right, your offspring, and their offspring, and their offspring, they're gonna seek to please who? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And the Israelites. <clears throat> his children shall seek to please the poor, and his hands shall restore their goods. How it says restore. Because notice, you stole. How can you restore something that someone didn't have? It's because that person did have the resources. All right. And you stole. You raped, robbed, and pillaged and murdered. Okay? The resources of the Hebrew Israelites You stole us as people man You sold us on auction as blocks Alright We came here on cargo slave ships You destroyed and broke all the covenants In which you had with the so called Native and Seminole Indians Alright And still to this day You know Dante Wilder voice To this day Alright You have not yet to let us go And nor will you all right, because it's not in your spirit too. All right, so it says, "His bones are full of his are full of sin of his youth, which shall lie down with him in the dust. Though wickedness be sweet in his mouth, though he hide it under his tongue, and that's why we understand through the spirit that Esau goes back to the to the snake in the garden. All right, that beguiled Eve, that made Eve go off, and Adam in the transgression. All right." But it was Eve that went off and she got beguiled by the serpent, which was we understand as a man. All right. A man even with melanin. But it was the spirit of you Edomite of the, of the Edomite man. All right. It says, though wickedness be sweet in his mouth, though he hide it under his tongue, though he spare it and forsake it not, but keep it still within his mouth. Yet his meat and his bowels is turned. It is the gall of apps within him. He hath swallowed down riches and shall and, sh and he shall vomit them up again. The most high shall cast them out of his belly. All right. So you're going to vomit up the riches in which you stole and which you hiding. All right. Even our records, man. You know, we're going to get everything back that you took from us and we're going to have even more. You know, the scriptures say, nor I nor ear have heard what's in store. All right. In the kingdom of heaven for the Israelites. 
you know so we're gonna have more than a heart could wish for in abundance everything comes in abundance man all right just like you had us as slaves you're gonna be a slave man okay it says he shall suck the poison of abs the viper's tongue shall slay him he shall not see the rivers and the floods the brooks and the honey and butter that which he labored for shall he restore and shall not swallow it down according to his substance shall the restitution be and he shall be he shall not rejoice therein all right so now i want to go to this scripture and i'm gonna wrap this thing up because you know i gotta bust a move but um this is romans chapter 9 and 13 all right now going back to this technology you know the most high has 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 uh you know pumped him up you know he has his head reaching up with his excellency to the heavens this is why in his mind the scriptures say he wants to sit in the seat as the most high how dare you all right but hey that's the way the lord see it because the lord has a has a plan for you esau all right you're gonna fight against his son you're gonna you're gonna help all right you're gonna play a big part in helping the lord show his power in this earth and everyone is gonna fear all right everyone is gonna know who his people is who his servants are who his elect is all right this is the reasons for these things yeah, the Most High is very dramatic. You make your movies dramatic, the Most High is dramatic. This is a movie to the Most High. We're nothing but clay to the Most High. All right? Now, this is Romans chapter 9 and 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. All right? So, yes, you hear the words uh, of Paul written in Romans 9 and 13. It says, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, and Esau have I hated. So, if anyone try to say that the Bible doesn't teach hate, then you clearly don't understand the Bible. Don't get mad at the messenger. Get mad with the creator. All right. Take your anger out on him and see what happens to you. All right. Because you're caught in your emotions. You know. <gasps> now, if you try to say the Bible don't teach hate, then you clearly don't understand the Bible. You can't get around this. Jacob and Esau. All right. Is forefathers of, of nations of people. Excuse me. They're, he's the, they're the forefathers of their nation of their people man jacob is the forefather of the 12 tribes esau is the forefather of e edom okay esau edom so it says as it is written the lord is saying these are the people i love and these are the people i hate as it is written jacob have i loved but esau have i hated what shall we say then is there unrighteousness with god god forbid so now that you read this now what would you say oh there must be unrighteousness with god then god forbid meaning no the most high is righteous in everything he does all right the most high is righteous in everything he says all right who who was any who was you to improve anything to the most high all right you're you're the creature he's the creator okay it says verse 15 for he said to moses i will have mercy on whom i will have mercy and i will have compassion on whom i will have compassion and that's right if the heavenly father chose a particular people and he chosen a certain seed of people all the way from uh, uh, Adam to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Who are you to say that the Lord can't do that? Who are you to say the Lord can't love just these people or the love or the Lord loves everybody? Who are you to say that? This is why you have to read the scriptures to get understanding. All right. This is a clear cut on Christianity. This is a cut on Christianity, man cut to the bone and marrow the intents of the heart all right a two-edged sword powerful man powerful words of yahweh bashim yahweh shai man all right the bible was written by man but it was inspired by yahweh bashim yahweh shai man all right so it says for who, for he said unto moses i will have mercy on whom i will have mercy and i will have compassion on whom i will have compassion so the lord will love who he want to love and he'll, he'll show mercy on who he want to show mercy to all right no question no, no doubts about it verse 16 so then is it is not of him that willeth nor of him that runneth but of the most high yahweh that showeth mercy so it's not of anyone else but of him the heavenly father the most high yahweh that showeth mercy verse 17 for the scriptures say unto pharaoh even for the same purpose have i raised thee up that i might show my power in thee 
and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Now, that's not a coincidence that, you know, Paul is relating Esau to Pharaoh in Egypt. That's not a coincidence. All right. He's telling you something. All right. You Edomites are, 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 in, are being used in the same fashion as the most high used Pharaoh king of Egypt at the time the Israelites were in bondage in Egypt when Moses was begging Pharaoh to let my people go it's not a coincidence that he's using that man because now in the latter in the latter days who are the Israelites going to be in captivity to Esau Edom it says for the scriptures say unto Pharaoh even for the same purpose have I raised thee up that I might show my power in thee and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth so that's the purpose that's the purpose of this dramatic captivity this dramatic fashion of salvation that's going to happen to the elect the the, the yahweh shah returning in his glorious apparel with his mighty angels and the chariots riding swiftly i love it man this is beautiful this is real music man this is truth this is facts all right this is prophecy Okay, it says, therefore, have he had mercy on whom he will have mercy and whom he will and whom he will he hearteneth. All right. So the Lord can harden up your spirit. That's how powerful the most high is. He controls the spirits. He can harden your spirit. You know. The most high can torment you, man. He can have it to where you see him in demons at night. Matter of fact. Whew, oh, man. I have to mention. You know, just happened this week. Video came out. The most high, uh, uh, hey, the Lord could, the Lord could put a sodomite spirit on you, man. You know, if he wanted to. You know, the most high give them guys up to their own flesh. You know, that's that Romans, the first chapter. You know, the lust after their own heart, desiring, uh, uh, you know, the, uh, 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 men with men working at it, which is unseemly, you know. You know, in, in, in the era, which is, which is, uh, uh, ah, forgot how I go, which was meat, you know, recompense, which was meat. Matter of fact, I'm going to jump back to that. Let me get this scripture real quick. I must, I must get it. Um, okay. Romans, Romans one and 24. I'm going to get straight to the point. Uh, it says who changed the truth of the most high into a lie. And worship and serve the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. All right. So that's, you know, who changed the truth of God into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator. Who? OK, it says for this cause, God gave them up to the unto vile affections for even their woman did change the natural use that is which, that is which against nature. All right. So this is talking about women on women. Which is off. It's, it's against the Lord's law, man. This is a filthy, abominable act, man. And you will get put to death for, for committing this act. All right. It says, verse 27. And likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of a woman. Remember, the natural use of a woman is to have babies, man. Lay down with a woman to have babies, to repropriate, man. Bring forth children, family, lineage. It says, and likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of the woman burnt in their lust one toward another men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meat meaning you're gonna get destroyed by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai all right so let me get back to that Romans Romans 9 and 21 uh no, 9 and 18. Therefore, have he had mercy on whom he will have mercy and whom he will heart, whom he will, he hearteneth. Thou say, thou will say then unto me, why do is he yet find fault? For who have resisted his will? Yeah, who resisted the Most High's will? The Most High had Pharaoh be stubborn and, and, and impose that offense. Well, let me say he was stubborn and he was his heart. His heart was hardened. His mind was hardened to not let the children of Israel go. All right. And he kept telling Moses, no. All right. So there you go. The most high made Pharaoh do that because the Lord wanted to show his power in the earth. Same way he's using you Edomites. But on this fashion, 
He gave you power more than Pharaoh, man. He's hardened your heart more than he did King uh, Pharaoh in Egypt, man. All right, because the Most High is going to show great miracles, man, from the righteous, from the righteous side. All right. Um, and it's happening now, right before your eyes, because you have the elect being woken. All right, the elect being sealed. That's a miracle in itself, by just believing in his absence, by believing in his word. The table of the tabernacle of David is risen. And they here to stay here to be sealed and here to be delivered, man. That's a miracle in itself, man. And Esau, the elites can't believe it, man. You see it. You see it, man. All right. It says, thou will say unto me, why do uh, he yet find fault for who have resisted his will? Nay, but old man, how art thou that re repellest against the most high? Shall the, shall the thing formed say unto him that formed it, why Hast thou made me thus? Have not the potter power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? He made Jacob unto honor and he made Esau unto dishonor. All right. That was the purpose that the Most High created Jacob and Esau. All right. One unto honor and one unto dishonor. Okay. It says, what if the Most High willing to show his wrath and to make his power known? Endure with much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted for destruction. And that's you Edomites, man. All right. You're the vessel of wrath fitted for destruction. All right. So what if the Most High is willing to show his power, man? Endure. All right. Endure. Enjoy. You know, why you have your kingdom now, but you're, you're, you're losing it day by day. All right. You know, you got a lot of Esau devices that's coming out. And especially the number one device is this internet. All right. Number two is that chip, you know, and all this little gadgets after that. You can count by number if you want to. But, you know, like like King David said, Psalms 10 and 2. Uh, uh, he's uh, these devices that you have imagined shall come against you, man. All right. You know, I'm going to end it with that. Let me end it with that. Uh, where you at? Psalms. 10 and 2. It says, The wicked and his pride do of persecute the poor. Let them be taken into the vices that, that they have imagined. And you're being taken into the vices that you have imagined. All right. Even by the word. Even by the word. Because you tried to use this word, you know, to uplift yourself. You try to say that you are the Jews that the Bible speaks of. You try to say that you are the people of the God. All right. So everything that this Edom might have done, the Most High have used it against him. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.